Happy New Year. Hello guys, Stone here. Welcome to episode 4 of um, Late Night PWL. I am one of your hosts, Stone Ambrose. <laughs> As always, joined by Adrian Axe. Uh, and of course, the War Zone General Manager, um, Brandon Martin. Today, joined by a very special guest, the Quatch. So, guys, uh, what is our top going to be today? Knowing we have the Quatch here. Uh, let's see how I'm doing. On a page, uh, if there are any questions for the watch, I, uh, I got the it. Watch. I got it. Yeah, I got. Okay, you can answer. You can ask. Okay. So our first question uh, from uh, one of our hosts, Stone Ambrose. Uh, what is the watch cooking today? Nothing. I'm having Chinese food. Sure. All right. That's a good answer. Uh, from Joey Cool. What was the best feud in PWL ever? I have no idea. I, I think it was uh, me versus Marcel in my opinion. Yeah. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't count that as a feud. I mean you had one match. Aw, oh, damn it. I don't think you know. It would have to be between you and White. That feud was personal. It was very interesting. There was a lot of hype towards it. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, uh, just for me from New Jersey asked to watch. If you were to defeat Tuck for the Action Pro Championship, who would you like to see challenge you for that belt? The question should be when I beat him. Uh -huh. I will beat him. And I would like to see um, maybe, maybe Justin facing me. I would like to face him for the time. That's actually pretty funny that you say that, Quatch, because um, our own host, Brandon Martin, when uh, Justin had asked that, he said, not you, Justin. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, another question from Joey Cool. In your opinion, who is the most overrated superstar in PWL right now? Mm. Overrated? Yes. In my opinion, I would say it would be me, because, let's face it, I keep him hyped all the time. from Justin. Uh, watch, how does it feel to be part of Asian American Exchange and what are your goals with your partner? It feels good to be part of a tag team. It's my first tag team in PWL and our goals are simple, just dominate access and just win tag titles. That's it. And Corey and Brandon Lee will come from tag titles. Now, Fair believe it. Let me ask, Quatch, uh, were you Andrew Chow? I don't think he has to answer this question because this I, I is this a long topic, like a long time. That story is tiny. Um, I'll continue to um, stick with my story. I am not Andrew Chow. I regret having any um, association with that person, and um, I move on. Well, your 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 story is obviously a fairy tale. I should add one thing. I don't think if anyone remembers this, but um, Anthony Quatch's first title here, actually, uh, some people might not know this, but it was the, it was not the Ad World Championship, it was the legacy title back then called the internet title. 
Yeah, uh, bringing up the Attitude World Championship, let me ask you, Quatch, how did it feel when you won the Attitude World Championship? Well, it felt great. I was a world champion, but it, it was tough because screw job actually had to happen to you, Stone. It couldn't happen to a nicer guy, but nice. it was a chance I had to take. I had the world title shot right there, and I had to take it. I'm okay, sure guys, that we are getting. Else was in that we, we, were the same thing. we have fan mail from Justin Rainey from New Jersey. He writes. Uh, that the Quatch will be cashed in on uh, once uh, Justin himself is uh, Mr. Money in the Bank. What are your thoughts, Quatch? What are your thoughts? That's, that's interesting because Justin, back in WWE, he actually cashed in on me and ended my WWE title reign. Yeah. And, Didn't you actually have um, that title for almost a full year? Almost. And before I was, I was trying to get just to admit that he was going to cash in on me. I knew his plan. I didn't expect him to cash in on me like that night, but he did, and he came to jam. But, but, but next time, if he does cash in on me when I win the Attitude World Championship, I'll be ready for this time. And Justin, you better watch out. Uh, so. The Quatch. Uh, what's your favorite match you've been in? Favorite match I've been in? Um, that's a tough one. Yeah, hey, I remember the when I squashed you. In would have to be my, um, my TV title victory. A triple threat match with um, me, Kevin Gloss, and Ben Benjamin. It was, um, it was my second singles title. Yes. Now, and Quatch, I actually have a question for you. Um, do you hope to see one day? Um, I know you see Stone as the world champion right now, but that will change after Live 365. Do you hope to one day see a match between both world champions? And if those world champions are you and me? Oh, I that would be extremely interesting. I would love to be in that match. It's it's gonna be a good match. The quad the quad should win. Put on a good show. It's you and me. And no, uh, if, um, if my uh, math's correct, I'm pretty sure you have a win over me at the moment. Two times. War is on. And if my math is correct, I have a win over. Well, let me yeah, watch, uh, if, if we meet up one more time, it's gonna be one. It's gonna be two to one. If my math is correct, right, we'll if my math is correct, I have a win over both Anthony Quatch and Adrian. Well, let's just say this, Stone, at uh, Live 365, you're not going to beat me again because uh, I'm not going to get screwed over again by my own PC or by Jimmy again. Oh, boo-hoo, you were not screwed over. Okay, guys, enough arguments. This, my own enough PC. arguments. This uh, is about our so guest, down. Anthony Quatch. If you some, uh, yeah, how about how about the quatch? Uh, give us uh, one of your infamous uh, catchphrases. I wish I could, but I can't because I told you I can't scream. My, my mom's sleeping right now. Well, that's poop. Oh, come on. Come A on. former world champion doesn't need to listen to his mom. <laughs> Guys, get the man some space. Come on, he's he's like not getting yelled at by his mom like he's on it. This is a professional show, man. So, like a family show, we're supposed to be PG. Fuck that shit, man. Hey, Quatch, just say this out loud. What I just put in the chat. Right. Say it like really low. Not, you don't have to scream it. Finally, the Quatch has come to late night. P W L. Perfect. Now we're not getting that many. We're not getting many questions. I might. I might edit this out and make that the intro. Go for it, man. P Dabell. Well, uh, we'll see that uh, we actually have a que some questions 
for uh, other some of our hosts. And uh, Stone, Justin Rainey wants to know. I guess he's a big fan of this show. Uh, he wants to know if you defeat Adrian at 365, who would you like to see you challenge next for the World Heavyweight Championship? I so hate if in that one. I I hate to sort of copy the Quatch with when he answered his question on that, but I'll just say I will win at Live 365. And to choose, if I had to choose who I would want to face, well, we've heard it from Jimmy that he plans on winning Money in the Bank. Well, um, well, Adrian would no longer be up in the title picture. Then, oh, I'm gonna be in the title picture when I take my title back. Uh -uh. Just keeping it warm for me, little boy. Just let me answer my question. Um, I would have to say one of the best in PWL history, Arena Football League. Let me just say one thing, Stone. You're not gonna beat me because there's a big if in that question. You can't beat me. It will not happen oh. again like it did at. Uh, uh, it might happen again, like it did at uh, Clash of Champions. Hey, I'm not going to beat you. I've beaten you numerous. On. Well, just a quick uh, tidbit that uh, Adrian has a bit of a problem with submission and stuff, considering he's tapped out to Marcel this multiple times. This isn't going to be a submission. And you ended up saying, I quit the I quit match. And this is an hour long Iron Man match. So, well, you know, Stone Ambrose may try to use multiple submission moves throughout the match. Well, oh, you're not going to beat me this time, Stone. That's what you think. You're a joke of a world champion, and you're a joke of a superstar. Yep. Okay. Now, well, here's... who's going to have the most falls come at the end of 60 minutes? Here's uh -huh. one thing. Wait. Me, me. Um, let's just explain why our two goat, our two goats, or two guests aren't here. Um, not guests, hosts. Um, first, the chairman, Dwight House... He's not here because, well, he's probably sleeping because he's lazy. And then Jimmy, our other on, host. Man. You can't diss our chairman. He's got important stuff working with the board of directors right now, and uh, he wasn't able to make it. Okay, then and you've got... And our other host, Jimmy Excitement, explain that, Stone. And, uh, yeah, so that Jim X injured his hand and needs to get uh, stitches or staples or whatever it is. We hope you pray for uh, Jim X. Yes. Uh, or whatever. We don't pray. Donate. Donate to Jim X. Uh, the hotline will be in the description below. Okay. If he I, does put I have a donation a, box. I will ask. <laughs> I have a question for um, uh, Anthony the Quatch Quatch. What are your thoughts on your excess general manager, Brody Enoch? Junior, I may add. Mm -hmm. This is the second time he's been XX um, man, general manager. Um, hopefully, this time he'll do a better job. What I don't like is the fact that he made my match with Tuck a three stages of hell match. It was supposed to be a submission match, and now he's gone on the top and made a three stage of a three stages of hell. But either way, I'll still be Tuck. I don't care what room he throws at me, I'll still be tough no matter what. Now, let me ask this. What are your thoughts on the AWC himself, Tuck? My thoughts on Tuck, um... He's a coward. Well, he hasn't been on all day. Uh, let's see what else. Um, the funny thing is... He brought me to PWL, he introduced me to PWL, and he and I were real close friends. But ever since he's won the title, he's become arrogant, he's become annoying, and basically, he's just a pain in the ass. Agreed. I, watch, I actually have a question for you. Last night, we saw a promo by you, and you actually came to the ring with the uh, belt, the world title, from a former company that I used to own and you used to work for, EWA. Can you explain that? Um, yeah. It was a great group. It was a, it was a great work. It was unfortunate that the um, company had to fold after a few months. But I just, I distinctly remember I beat Tuck not only for the World Heavyweight Championship, I beat him for the hardcore title as well. Same night. He, he 
goes around running his mouth how he's going to make me tap, I made him tap in another company for a world title, and I'll do it again. Well said. Looking forward to this match coming up at Live 365. Now I asked a question for our host here today. Who do you think is going to win, the Quatch or the Tuck? Okay, I am going all out uh, with uh, the Quatch. I, honest to God, am going for the Quatch in this one. It was a bullshit how Quatch uh, was did not get his title back at the last bit at uh, Warzone vs. XS, and he deserves to get it back this time. Yes, that brings me uh, to this. Oh, wait, I'll let Brandon answer first. Well, uh, I'm a GM, and uh, I'm really not supposed to show any biases. <laughs> But uh, I really don't know who I think will win. Uh, both guys are good competitors, and uh, I think it's going to come down to a wire. Now, let me ask this. Uh, Quatch, what were your thoughts when you were low-blowed by, uh, by the Tuck when you were just about to win the AWC back? Um, it was shocking. It was disappointing. Um, I, I worked so hard for the title. That was a given to me at Golden Glory. Um, and for Tuck to <laughs> way into the world title picture, I, mean, I was the one who gave him a world title shot. I was nice enough to give him a shot because I felt bad for him. And it was because he won that title. It's just best. It's just an arrogant, it's trash. And they come up, they come live here at I will beat him and I will take back what's mine. It's going to stay in the uh, hell, just like Johnny Rings is right now. Alright, so now we have the more fan mail question. Um, from Joey Cool from San Jose, California. Uh, Quatch, what was wrong with your Wi Fi? Uh, oh, yeah, here's a tip for all you fans out there. Never, ever use it It is really bad. Okay, thank you That's for that. To thank you for that inspiring uh, message. Now, uh, quick uh, announcement here that uh, PWL Shop is having their three uh, live 365 day of the year sale. You've been live for 365 days, and so has PWL Shop. Now, with any purchase, get a free live 365 uh, 365 pencil. Uh, yeah, we'll get, pencil, that's so great. everyone's going back to school these days, you're going to need a pencil for school. Now, let me just add something here. Stone Ambrose has not been in here since day one. I've been here since day one, and starting in uh, starting in September, I will have been here for 365 days, exactly. Congratulations. Minus all the times you're tired and you can compete for like a day or two, but... Stone Ambrose does not have what I have to have. He does not have the respect of others in PWL. I am the greatest thing ever have in this damn business. And Stone Ambrose is just a joke. And let me, let me bring this up. But he does up. have one thing you don't have, yeah. and that's the World Heavyweight Championship. Thank, thank you for stating that, Yeah, that's that, been right? changed. The little boy just holding for me. Now Stone's beating you many, many, many times. Yes. My you think he's you'll beat him this beat time. At 565. I will beat you at Live 365, no matter what. I am the best damn thing to happen to PWL. Without me, this place would be dead in a one minute. Okay, sure. I, 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 dare, I dare you. Step out of this company now and watch. We will. PWL will still remain... Why should I? You'll never... If, if I step out right now, you will not get any competition because Brandon Martin, the so-called... This GM on the in the world and couldn't find anyone to face me. His first pick, Quante Levet, Levet. I don't even know what his last name is because he's such a fucking idiot. He didn't show up to our match. Now let me bring this up. It's not Brandon's fault uh, that uh, Warzone does not go as well as it should. Uh, think about the people that we have. We have Junior Hanna, Fandango Wannabe. Uh, we have Quante Devante Livingston, who never shows up to anything unless he's defending the title, which he dropped. And then uh, you've got, like, guys... Uh, you've got guys who actually compete, 
UT Jones, Arena Football League, Sin Kofi Lethal. Actually, no, I, I want to erase Sin Kofi Lethal from that list. He was supposed to face me for the TV title at Clash of the Champions, but decided not to show up. But, guys, we have we have newcomers who I feel will be the future PWL. Once guys like Adrian, me, the Quatch, Tuck are gone from PWL. They will be the stars. Honor be gone. This place is dead without me. Yeah, see, if you look at our talent, UT Jones, he's only been around for maybe two or three months. He's still learning the way. Uh, you look at guys such as Brian Baker. He's still young. He's still got time to advance in the ring. You look at Christian Knott. He hasn't really been uh, used that much. Sort of like uh, guys like JTG and stuff for, who haven't been used very much. CJ Go, he's a... Uh, He's like all talking, though, uh, but doesn't get like much respect. Joey Cool. See, he's a great guy, but no one thinks he gives him credibility that he deserves. Speaking of all talk, let me add on one thing. This guy has not been seen in a few months. He has not been seen or heard from, except when he's making fun of the new talent here. His name is Ty Rawl. He's all talk, and he just insults people. I don't really see how that guy is a Hall of Famer. Well said. Okay, what does that have to do with I don't know how that I don't know how that has to do with this, but I just want to say something. I I do not respect Tyrell in the slightest. I can retire with the fact knowing that he has never beaten me, and that I am better than him. Okay then. Not like he's a world champion or anything. So. Uh... Oh. I have a question for the Quatch, who hasn't really been speaking that much. If I wasn't to be screwed at at Golden Glory. Who do you think would end up winning that match? Well, it would be a tough um, match to the end. It, it would be me, though. I have to say, I was, I was really looking forward to that match, but what happened, happened. And you know, sorry that I have to have to use them. I love how you say that you would win when we had a match, I believe, on Warzone recently. I'm not sure when it was. Warzone versus XS. Old school. Old school. Yeah. But yeah, we squashed me for nothing. Yes, I know. Exactly. We went through that already. Exactly. It was an embarrassing defeat for me, but hey, sometimes... Oh, sometimes losing... You, lose. you should not be... You should not be embarrassed if you lose to me. If anything, I should be embarrassed if I lose at all. We get it. All right, Adrian. We can we can save it. We're not gonna have a big argument here live on the spot. But let's just wait and see the outcome when I'm standing over you with the World Heavyweight Championship at Live 365. Case closed. I should have let you leave PWL a few months ago when you actually wanted to. Now you're just annoying me. Well, I think... Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have to wrap this up here. We have been going on for about four minutes. Yes, yeah, so, so uh, we might, yeah, like Adrian said, we will be wrapping this up now. Uh, please uh, like this video if you enjoyed. Comment who you think should like be our... Like us on Twitter, follow our Facebook, something else. I don't really give a shit. Uh, <laughs> we got to draw some big steps thanks to our uh, advertisements and uh, people like that. With PWL Shop. Thank you to our Great. guest tonight, Anthony Quash. You were very good. Thank you. Thank you for having me, guys. Uh, good luck against Tuck. Uh, and we hope you can back that title. Comment below. Tell us who you think should be our next guest here. And yeah, so it that's it. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Mm -hmm.